Hi, this is Dr. Abdul, physiotherapist. Welcome to my channel. Human anatomy, body movements. What is body movements? Let's talk about this in this video. Body movements, anatomical terms used for body movement are nothing but to describe the action of muscles upon the joint. Muscles contract to produce movement at joints and the subsequent movement can be precisely described using this terminology. Let's consider the movement begins from the anatomical position of human body for easy understanding. Then remember the most movements have an opposite movement also known as antagonistic movement. In this video I'll describe the terms in antagonistic pairs for ease of understanding. Let's begin with the movement flexion and its antagonistic movement is extension. Flexion refers to a movement that decreases the angle between two body parts. It will be like this in the arm and the leg. And the extension refers to a movement that increases the angle between the two body parts. It looks like this extension of the arm and the leg. Abduction. Its antagonistic movement is adduction. So refers to abduction refers to a movement that describes the movement away from the midline like this and adduction refers to a movement that describes the movement towards the midline that's adduction medial rotation and its antagonistic movement lateral rotation Medial rotation refers to a movement that describes the rotational movement towards the midline. Something like this, medial rotation in the leg. Lateral rotation refers to a movement that describes the rotational movement away from the midline. Like this. Medial rotation and lateral rotation. Dorsiflexion and its antagonistic movement is plantar or palmar flexion. Dorsiflexion refers to the flexion of foot in upward direction, similarly flexion of an hand in upward direction. Something like this. Whereas plantar or palmar flexion refers to the flexion of foot in downward direction, similarly flexion of hand in downward direction something like this inversion and aversion inversion refers to the inward movement of foot something like this and aversion refers to the movement outward refers to the outward movement of foot something like this Supination and its antagonistic movement is pronation. Supination refers to turning your forearm and palm facing up as if you are holding a bowl of cup, a bowl of soup, something like this. And pronation refers to turning your forearm and palm facing down. It's when you use the mouse, something like this. Supination, pronation. Ulnar deviation and its antagonistic movement is radial deviation. Ulnar deviation refers to side movement of hand toward little finger side. Something like this. And radial deviation refers to side movement of hand toward thumb. And it is like this. Ulnar deviation and radial deviation. Elevation and its antagonistic moment is depression. Elevation refers to a raising of shoulders as in shrugging and also raising of jaw as in closing mouth. Something like this. Depression refers to a lowering of shoulders and lowering of jaw. Something like this. Protraction and its antagonistic movement, retraction. Protraction refers to a movement where shoulders move 
anteriorly or in front. Something like this. Retraction refers to a movement where shoulders move posteriorly or back. Something like this. Circumduction refers to conical movement of a limb extending from joint at which the movement is controlled. Something like this in the arm circumduction and leg circumduction making a conical movement. A movement will be look like a conical in shape. Thanks for watching. Follow me at YouTube. Facebook, Instagram and for any business related inquiry contact me at dr.abdul.pt at gmail.com